So here's one seeking a quick way to blur voided space in landscape to vertical social media post. Um, let's just have a look. It's here. So that, yeah, it's, we've all seen it when it's sort of 69, a landscape shot video and to view it portrait on a mobile device. Um, uh, there's some nat that do it automatically and it's basically the image scaled right up and blurred, probably Gussian, if that's pronounced right, blur. There is a way to do it in Premiere Rush for mobiles. Um, not it's quite quite easy. You've got the capability to do layers, so you could you just scale the landscape one down and copy it for the background, which is scaled right up to fill the frame, and then put a blur on top of that on the background. Um, but for this purpose, because I'm just starting these out and trying to get production going with the flow, I'm going to do it, show you how this can be done in Premiere and also um, a couple of nifty blurring tools that um, not everyone will probably be aware of if I get there. <laughs> so Premiere. Put that into Premiere and drag it onto the timeline. I've put a black border in there for demonstration purpose. So it's quite a high resolution image that covers the frame already, but I get it if you start off with that and you want all the well the sides of the image as well you don't want it to be portrait and that's kind of why they did it i suppose and it became a, a common thing to so you've not got the the black letter boxes top and bottom right so i've just pressed alt clicked on the stock video and that duplicates it so this we'll do it this bottom one we shall whack the scale up and we could do it like that I suppose a bit more centre <clears throat> and literally whack an effect on it so I'll just type into the effects panel blur and all the blurs come up because the hand is a pretty solid one for just a, a natural blur as what you expect. Horizontal, vertical, and just whack a dee doo da. And there we go. Hey presto. The other cool thing I was going to show you is Magic Bullet. I wasn't going to go on to um, plugins yet. I just wanted to get a few of these under my belt, but Magic Bullet is beautiful. And it's a good um, a plugin to start with. Really simple layout. I've just whacked the plugin on, on, the, on the clip there, and you get a little edit, which will bring its own software up and got the image there if you just scroll your mouse to the left you'll get all these cool looks up kind of like filters instagram filters and if you scroll right to the side you get these kind of um lens effects color grading crushes you know loads of tools you've got down here subject mat lens camera and post on the lens one you've got swing tilt here 
So drag that and it goes on the camera lens. It's really nice, this software. And it's probably not the best <laughs> image to show you on, but you've got blur size here, up top right, and this put a, a tilt and play about with these. So you can adjust the variables there. So that might, that gives more of a, a blend of the blur. It's a nice little technique. Next one, well, similar similar to that. You've got the vignette, which will just put a soft blur around the whole of the image. Um, and sort of fade into black. But you can also have it with the with the blur as well so yeah very good to have in your toolbox magic bullet looks so right it's time for the outro now i don't think my outro in my previous videos is working that much um it's thanks for watching but um no seriously i'm Absorb Video was a channel where I just used to host my videos that I was producing for clients, mainly in the events and club industry and record labels. Um, over the past couple of years, it's uh, been time to pivot and a big hurdle has been getting comfortable on camera, which is why I'm experimenting with different formats and um, doing videos like this. So um, it's, yeah, it's still in its infancy, but my mission is to get as much post-production knowledge out into the ether and experiment with different formats on how we can, how I can teach that and how we, we can all learn together. So any budding editors or people interested in it, or if you just want to join me with my journey, <laughs> that would be great. Thank you very much.